Roasting is both an art and a science. It's freshness, freshness. I mean, we're roasting daily. To go from green bean to brown brilliance takes a lot of time. Roasting is the process that brings out the aroma and flavor that is locked inside the bean. Chemical changes take place during rapid heating and cooling. So if we're doing a light roast Ethiopian or a light roast Kenya versus a dark roast Guatemala, we're going to spend a lot of time on the profile and we're going to get different flavor notes out of it. Fazenda, a Portuguese word for coffee farm, is one of a growing number of small roasters. The Dedham facility has a laid back vibe, but all of the beans here are tended to by experienced hands. Every employee has worked behind the counter before moving on to the roaster. People who work here really understand what it's like to work in a cafe and their input is, you know, it's tremendous because they are coffee people. Owner Philip Sheehan says among the coffee people here, one of only 400 Q graders in the U.S., Peter Cannon. So a Q grader is a person who's certified by the Coffee Quality Institute to be able to evaluate coffees so that the way that I'll score it as a Q grader will be the same as any other Q grader in the world. You can literally sniff out a bad coffee. Yep, correct. Or a good one. From smell to taste in a process known widely as cupping, Roasters test every new batch for consistency and quality. We can roast, but we can't grow coffee in most of the continental U.S. Beans are sourced from subtropical regions around the world. Brazil, Colombia, Indonesia, Ethiopia, Kenya, Costa Rica, Guatemala. Unique flavors come from both the plant and the soil. The Ethiopian coffee has kind of really nice fruit notes, whereas maybe Costa Rica has some kind of nuttiness maple. 500,000 pounds a year flow through this facility, a delicate balance between quantity and quality. Well, definitely the quality over the last 20 years is incredible. When I started, there was a lot of blending going on because one bean had a lot of imperfections and so they would mask each other. You know, the quality is so much better. A place where the roast and the brew are really taking flight can be found in downtown Marlboro. Coffee and beer are the perfect combination. A combination that J.P. Gallagher, who started his career in marketing, and his wife Melinda, an accountant, dreamt of for a long time. We just really were passionate about the industry. It was something that we wanted to be involved in. JP went to brewing school, I did a coffee roasting class, and we kind of went from there. In 2019, the team opened Lost Shoe Brewing and Roasting, the name a nod to the city's shoemaking history. It's not a brewery with a coffee shop or a coffee shop that also brews beer. We're it, the tap room is a place for both. After all, according to JP, the two complement each other. Making coffee it shares a lot of similar characteristics to how you make beer. Same goes for like doing drip coffee or pour overs. With beer, you're extracting sugars out of uh, malts. With coffee, you're extracting the flavor out of the coffee grounds. It's all flavored water. More than 16 beers on tap here. Add in Lost Shoes homemade syrups and you have countless coffee combinations. We roast our own coffee on site. We have a medium blend stitch that's kind of our house blend. It's nice chocolatey, has a little bit of a citrus hint to it. And then we do a dark roast. We do a lot of rotating single origin coffees. So the Gallagher's thought, why not marry the two brews? We'll do a lot of coffee inspired beers. We have a rotating beer that's called New Pair of Brews. It's a coffee milk stout. We've also made a hop simple syrup, so we use it in some of our coffee drinks too. All served up amid rotating themes. During our visit, decor inspired by Harry Potter. A small menu includes homemade pastries and these delectable pumpkin waffles. But it is the flight, the coffee flight, with four five ounce samples that gives coffee connoisseurs and amateurs alike the opportunity to get a taste without taking too big a bite. The maple latte here, we use Hollis Hills maple syrup right in Fitchburg, Mass. Nice and local. Moving on to a chai latte with vanilla. Which is my favorite. Cheers! <laughs> that is good. So good. <laughs> Lost Shoe Brewing and Roasting also offers live music, trivia, even a run club. They plan to expand on the community events that they were able to offer before the COVID-19 pandemic. The company's coffee and beer selections change with the season, as does some of the decor. Up next, a couple of latte artists at work.